guys kitty cat lapur here hey i'm gonna show you exactly how to get oil on the island in asa yay welcome to ark america edition <laughs> just kidding so today i'm gonna show you some of the easy ways to get oil and maybe some of the not so easy ways but we'll be looking for oil nonetheless but first off i want to say a great big thank you to all my current subscribers you guys are amazing and i seriously couldn't do it without you and if you're new here feel free to hit that subscribe button for pro itch art content and if you do like what i provide for you today feel free to hit that like button and guys i'm aiming for the big 20,000 this year so help me go big or go home and you all get a cookie yay so first we're gonna start off at home because i find that it's easier to get oil yeah some creatures versus you know going out and looking for it yourself we have the handy the dandy dung beetle and if you guys haven't watched my video on where to get dung beetles sure to watch that so dung beetles passively on wander make oil in their inventory so put them on wander they'll collect some poop make some fertilizer and give you oil which is amazing that's why these guys are so handy also i don't know if you know this but apparently hespinornises hespinorni hespinornis anyways their eggs, regular eggs, not golden eggs, make oil. So we're going to just check that out real quick. And look at that. Super quick too. That's awesome. So if you guys do have some laying around, whatever reason, their regular eggs can make you some oil. Next, we have some water creatures that passively make oil in their inventory. First, we have the basilo. just doing his thing and he can passively make oil in his inventory but it does spoil so keep that in mind now the tuso also makes oil in his inventory so if you're brave enough to go and get yourself one of these guys but i'll just stick to the basketball now that we've covered the ways that you could make oil at home why not go look for some and antsy i found that the oils in the surface were so much easier to find but now they look like rock and you could be a little confused. So here we are. We're currently at 27.2, 3.3 on one of the icebergs. And these are rocks that contain oil. Now you could easily just come over by yourself or with your, well, with a flyer and get some oil with your pick. But you can also bring over an Inky as well. You do a great job in harvesting oil. And here's another place where oil is a very easy to find and very, very safe. We're currently at the iceberg in the very top corner, 7.1 for 0.5. As you can see, it's all over this iceberg. And over here too, I found it a little more safe than going up into the areas in the snow. Just to hop and a skip over, we're at 8, 13.1. And these little... Um, ice shelves i guess you would call them have tons and tons of oil and crystal too and not too much stranger dangers to take care of now if you're brave enough i'll take you into the water to show you a couple spots of oil but what oil looks like in the water now more or less when coming in the water make sure you do have your scuba mask on because it makes everything so much clearer to me. So I'm currently right at Red Ob. Now there's oil all over the ocean and the, on the island. But seeing that, it has been super hard to find. So I'm just going to show you a couple places that I did find it and show you exactly what it looks like. So as you can see here, this is what an oil deposit looks like underwater. It is super small now, but it still has the oil that kind of comes up and shows you exactly where it's at. Now you can come down here. Clearly I'm in creative mode and you put the pick on it. Or you can use your Dunkle Stoot? Dunkle, Dunkle Stoot? Harvest it. I call them Dunkle Stoot. And as you can see, ate that right up and harvested me some delicious oil. We're currently at 86.4, 1.8, and we're kind of on a rock here, really, really close to the border wall. I'm gonna show you a couple other places that I found deposits. But of course, like I said, they're all over the ocean floor. But I was having a little bit of trouble even finding them in this area. Another one, we're kind of in this like deep canyon. Now I'm used to like the, the oil deposits being so 
so big, so it'll be hard to find. Here's one. I'm currently at 96.8, 12.4, close to Craig's Island. It's in this like deep canyon. And of course, it is harvest harvestable by your pick or your dunkle doofus. I found another one over here in the corner. There, like I said, there are a couple, like you could go up and down. I like to stay close to the border wall when looking, but I definitely don't go in the water to look for oil. But here we are at 98.1, 29.2. And again, this isn't the only places you can find oil. You can find them all throughout the ocean um, or even in the snow. Go have a look for them. So there you have it, folks. Some of the easy passive ways to get oil on the island and where you can find oil if you don't have those canes. If you did like what I provided for you today, feel free to hit that like button if you're new here. And why not subscribe? Let me know if you have any oil tips and tricks down in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a super a duper magical day. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.